Hi everyone, it's Lisa from Low Crochet Creations and I was going through and just playing with this graph software I have and um, I was just wondering how many other people are using a graph software and if you are, what type are you using? Are you using one of the free ones um, from online or do you have a paid graph software that you use? Uh, the one I have on my Mac is Mac Stitch. M-A-C-S-T-I-T-C-H and was I usually purchase um, a graph uh, if I find something that I like but I was like hey you know something I'm just gonna play around with it a little bit and see um, what I think about it and I really like this one um, I saw this particular uh, super mom symbol as somebody's profile and I told them, it was on a graph page, uh, crochet page, and I told them then, you know, I had messaged and said, wow, your profile picture would make a great graph. So, you know, I was just kind of joking around about it a little, and I thought, you know, I'm going to try my hand at this just to see what I think about it. So, the Mac Stitch, um, I'm really liking that you can import, um, your own pictures and manipulate play with them a little bit do color changes so for this particular one I found it online and so I just saved it to my desktop and went in and let me see let me close this one out um, hold on so I opened the software went in and did the import um, export and the advanced image import browse for an image comes up and like I said this particular one is saved on my desktop so under super mom open you can choose um, how big you want your graph to be um, right now this one's showing at 277 by 278. It also has um, the stitches and in inches that you can change if you like to, if you want a border, um, and for max colors. So playing around a little bit with it. If you choose more colors on this particular one, it won't give you a preview view. So I chose 30. Um, I also uncheck dither and for the color thread I chose the DMC thread colors um, which are a lot close to the colors we use for yarn when you go to the preview it comes up and show gives you a preview of what it's gonna look like so this is pretty good um, went through done click OK and when it comes up let me just oh sorry and increase the size so you can see okay so when it comes up it shows me over on the left hand side of the screen the colors that were used and you can also see here all the different colors that are in here so when you're going through when I first started I said you know I'm gonna take out all of the outside border I wanted to take off the mom I basically wanted to get it down to two colors so you can easily do this um, when you're going through and using this particular software um, it has it so that you can go under the palette and actually um, go through and choose the colors and it will combine colors together so when I did this um, what I came out with right now is this let me make it smaller for you to see um, and this is what I'm working with right now so as you can see all the colors on the left hand side that were there I've taken it all down to basically um, a white and two shades of pink Okay, so 
what I'm doing now is just going through and cleaning up the edges. Really, really enjoying this software, like I said. Um, lots that you can go through and do with it. Just wanted to give you all a little preview today and see, like I said, what type of software are you using um, for your graphs and if you're using software. So just comments, please. Um, and thank you. Uh, and I'll be talking with you again soon.